After shooting Beth, the dawn deserve to die. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Entertainment. And we're talking about the hospital arc in The Walking Dead. It wasn't the greatest thing since sliced bread, that is for sure. But nonetheless, Fog Entertainment, we have to discuss it. And we put up for a poll, 224 votes later, 88% voted yes, 13% voted no, damn it. As I near struggled to get my breath out there, man, I was... I'm flabbergasted. I just find it incredible. I love The Walking Dead. I, I don't really think The Walking Dead is pretty mince, to say the least, if I'm being brutally honest about it. But, um, you know, let's just put our boots, our own, ourself in her shoes. I mean, if we're being brutally honest, she didn't mean to do it. It was a reflex. Rick knew it. Rick even admits it later on. But here, she had to die. She killed a member in our group. By God, she had to die. So, I mean, you look at it, did she deserve to die? The fact that Rick knew it was accidental pretty much tells me that she didn't deserve... Well, I mean, it was accidental, right? So therefore she didn't deserve to die. But I think for other reasons you might argue she deserved to die. Like, she ran this, like, really, you know, corrupt police force and a zombie apocalypse that, like, you know, let her officers manhandle the patients, rape the patients. And for me, yeah, that's probably worthy of death. But with the Beth one, it self defense. I, I don't know. I mean, I mean, eighty eight percent voting yes. Yeah, I think overall, all factors considered, yes, I think Don did deserve to die. Um, but thirteen percent voted no, and for some whatever reason, YouTube the number system is a bit weird. Sometimes it it doesn't completely fully add up. Um, well, then, well, sometimes it fully add up. But in this case, it's actually completely it's overshot the runway, folks. Because it's actually 101% work that one out. But as we go into the comments, Bridget Connor says, If Don were to have just been a regular civilian pedestrian clothing, I don't think this question would be all that difficult to answer. Best survived long enough to know that in the public, the world of a physical confrontation with someone will likely end with someone getting killed. I really don't know what she expected to happen. Beth should have gone all out for the kill or just bottle it and go back to singing. Don is living in the past trying to maintain her status as a police officer, authority figure, and this is where things get complicated. Are we the few really supposed to hold Don to a higher standard just because she's wearing a uniform and badge? Even under normal circumstances where law and order still exist, it would be literally out of the question for a police officer to react the same way. I'm not saying that would be appropriate reaction for Don to have in a civilised world, but I'm sure shit would be a very real possibility. Ultimately, both Beth and Don exactly got exactly what they deserved. Yeah. I mean what yeah, like what what was Beth's Best case scenario, like, did, was Beth, did Beth want to die here, but she knew sacrificing herself would get Don killed? Did she really want to die that much for the sake of Don getting killed? Either way, I think it's pretty ridiculous, if I'm being honest. Uh, D says, it was a stupid decision that made Beth attack Don. Beth was damsel in distress who needed saving. She was in no position to make a call like that with stabbing Don. She could have got everyone shot up, but luckily there were female color to kill her. Yeah, exactly. Talked about that in the review, make sure you go check out the review, uh, Coda, I believe it's called. This could have ended in an all-out gunfight in, like, the narrowest hospital corridor of all time, man. And, and, you know, you could be looking at, like, 10, 20 casualties. Obviously, plot armor, yes, that all kicks in. But the reality is, that that's what very easily could have happened. You know, could easily could have happened. Justin Herrera says, I mean, Beth trying to stab Dom was dumb as fuck, so I don't know if I can say Dom deserved it. I wish Beth, li Beth lived, though. Well, she didn't, she didn't. Um, Otto says, people are 100% going to vote yes, but when you think about it, I would say no. After all, Dawn shot Beth after she tried to kill her. When you look at Dawn, she didn't mostly react without even thinking about it. She is a co-op, a cop. After all, they are trained to react when they get attacked. If you had everything on anything else, she's done, then we can discuss before the murder. Yeah, I can't, I can't discuss that. She's innocent. Maybe you can say she deserved to die for taking back Noah and that being the reason Beth attacked her. But when it comes to Beth's death, it was mostly Beth's fault, not Don's. It's worth mentioning that Beth might have planned to kill Don from the start since she took that weapon. But she might not know to take it. She needed it to defend herself. So who knows? Also, why did Beth try to stab Don in the throat? Honestly, I guess why not? Beth she probably, wanted, probably just wanted to kill her. But she was worthy enough of dying, I suppose. Or mental like that. Uh, low, I said no too. It was stupid about to do that to begin with. Um, I thought it no, just for the heck of it. Big Andrew Smith. Just for the heck of it. Just for the heck of it. 
Uh, and then Midnight Black Rose says, Beth's death was stupid. What did she think she was going to achieve, really? May as well have slapped Don across the head with for all a good pair of scissors did. To me, it was self-defense slash reflex reaction for Don. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually going to go with it. 13%, even though it should be 12. I'm going to go with no. So that's where we're going to sum this up, wrap it up, tuck it in. Good night. Peace.